my lovelies, this is Jenna here, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to make something a little bit different, but um, nonetheless super uh, useful and uh, important. So we're going to make a vegan protein powder, totally homemade, you can add it to your smoothies, that's what I have been doing, and uh, you can use it as um, a post-workout along uh, again with your smoothies or you can also add it to your um, meatless meatballs or uh, sneak in every uh, food you make and uh, cakes and fritters or I mean you can add it to practically anything you make so let's start with the recipe here we're going to start with some um, chia seeds going to blend all those ingredients but a few of them I'm going to explain uh, along the video they are very oily and if you blend it too much they tend to become a paste so we should be careful with that but let's start with the chia seeds that was about I don't know 10 seconds and then you just add it to a jar and now we're going to add one cup of pumpkin seeds for good fats. This is the one that you should be careful, okay? Because it's very oily. If you blend it too much, it's going to become mushy and um, humid, and we don't want that. And that's enough. So you shake a little bit to remove any lumps because we don't want it to become humid. Next is one cup of oats. Oats are very good because they literally punch away the cholesterol from your uh, bloodstream, so very important. And ready. <laughs> it's super fast, isn't it? In with the oats. So I already have a ground lead se lean seeds here or flax seeds because I use it as an egg replacement. So I have a full jar of it on my freezer. Uh, so in with that, again, if you blend it too much uh, for too long, it tends to become a paste and we don't want that because again, it gets humid and um, it can ruin everything. Now we're going to add uh, green uh, split peas. They are fantastic for protein. Now, if you want to add green split peas, bear in mind that it's going to be a little bit bitter, okay? If you can get past that, then by all means do that. Now, two cups of popped or puffed amaranth. Can you see the rainbow? Isn't it nice? So we are literally eating the rainbow, a little bit of rainbow. A lot of colors. Our food should be very colorful. Isn't that what we teach our kids? So we should follow as well, don't you think? And now we're going to add sunflower seeds. See, the seeds, they're very oily, so it's very easy for them to become a, um, a, um, clumped up. So what we do is we shake it and you just break them with your hand and you close it and you just shake it up. And there you have it. talking to you guys and I'm sweating buckets because today is the hottest day here in Gran Canaria. I think it's 41 degrees, 42. Here we have it. 
Like I said, my brother asked me for a good vegan protein and then I'm like, you can make your own, hello. <laughs> This recipe here, by the way, is inspired by the uh, website uh, um, channel, Comer Vegano. So check him out. He has a lot of uh, whole food, plant-based um, recipes. I think that mostly are whole food, uh, plant-based. So credits to him and to me also for sharing with you <laughs> because he's done that in Spanish. So here we have it. Don't forget to uh, tag me if you make it and let me know what you think of that. Have I used it? Yes. Have I loved it? Yes, of course. Of course I do. You can, um, uh, like I said, uh, add it to a lot of different foods. Fritters, omelets, um, uh, meatless meatballs, anything. Even for the, when you're going to bread something in the breading, you can sneak in that because it's extra protein and extra nutrition. So I hope you have liked it. I'm in love with it. So that's why I'm like, oh my God, I gotta share this. It's fantastic, brilliant. This is brilliant. And, um, don't forget to follow me on my, my social media. It's going to be linked down below. And uh, if you make this, tag me on Instagram and Facebook. And i uh, see you next time. Have a fabulous week. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.